but being deliberate about how we interact as two cities. Um, we already mentioned the learning. So already in this conversation, we talked about plastic. Um, and that's brought it to the fore. Um, and this is the sort of thing, this is the sort of thing that will happen. But going beyond that, we have the opportunity in Transform Freetown, uh, um, in our second cluster, human development, we have as our third sector, job creation with a tourism focus. The Gambia is very, very famous for its tourism industry. So again, these are opportunities for learning, but also opportunities for collaboration. From the perspective of sanitation, you know, we've done a lot in developing the value chain. There are similarities between Freetown and Carnivine Municipality, as well as there are differences in challenges and how to tackle them. Sheku asked the question or mentioned about the flood mitigation. So those sort of things are addressed in, urban, in environmental management. But I said before um, that if you have people coming to a city, that in itself is not a bad thing. A lot of development and growth can happen. Cities are known to be hubs of innovation, of creativity, of business. Think about the big cities of the world. So when we, of course, took office, there was literally no waste collection mechanism in place. Uh, it was donkey carts dominating the scene. So a guy, a donkey, a cart just walks around, collects waste, and literally just takes it to the dump site, or sometimes not. Sometimes they just dump it in the river Rhine areas, in gutters, in abandoned houses. And literally, when we came into office, we had how much? 46 illegal dump sites around the municipality. Sierra Leone and Gambia share historical ties, including politically, in education, and people. For decades, 